If you're looking at a Wikipedia article and you see a table with interesting data and you want to dive into that data deeper, then the good news is that it only takes a couple lines of code in Python to scrape that website. So this video is going to be pretty quick. I'll show you three simple steps to load Wikipedia data and make sure to watch all the way to end because you don't want to miss anything important. You can choose whatever article you want, but for this video, I'm just going to show you the list of best-selling video games and this wikipedia article has a nice table over here so we're going to be scraping that so step one is to import the pandas library so you say import pandas as pd and then you say import ssl and below that you're going to paste in the line of code that i put in the description below and if you don't paste that then you might get an error on some sort of certificate verification error so this line of code just avoids that error. Step two is to use the read HTML method that's provided by pandas. So in a new cell, you're going to say tables is equal to pd dot and you're going to use the method called read HTML. And in this method, you're just going to paste in the URL link of the Wikipedia article and make sure to surround it by single quotes. So if you paste that, then all you got to do is just run it. We've pretty much done everything, but there's one more important thing we have to do, and that leads us to step three, and that's to check which table we have to use. We say length of the variable that we just created called tables, then that's going to get us four, which means that the variable has four tables in it, but we only need one table. So right now we're just going to check which of the four tables has the correct one. So first you say tables and inside the square brackets put in zero because Remember, Python uses zero-based indexing, meaning that this is going to return the first table. If you run that, then it turns out that this isn't the right data because it doesn't have the sales of the video games. If I go to the article, then it seems like this table is referring to this one over here, but we want to get this one. So let's do another check. We're going to say tables. And inside the square brackets, you put in the one, which refers to the second table. We run that, then this seems to be the right one because it has all the sales. So after you get the correct data, you can perform whatever analysis you want to do. So it's up to you now. Okay, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found this feature in Pandas useful. And if you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with my content. And if you want to see me analyze more data sets, then make sure to check out this video over here. So I hope to see you over there and thanks for watching.